Oh, thank you, Graham and Jamie. And of course, it, before we get into the kitchen and whip up another veggie delicious dish, please can we give Gift of the Givers a big round of applause for the incredible work that they are doing. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover. Well, I think it's safe to say move over popcorn chicken because the veggies are here for their own take on a classic deep fried cauliflower bite, best served with a clover classic spiced mayo dip, crispy and tasty and super uh, Moorish with this mighty just this might actually just become your new movie snack. Um, and of course, we have Teresa in studio to show us how it's done. I have to be honest, when I saw that initially, our cauliflower popcorn, I thought it was chicken. Yeah, you don't I was actually like, oh, chicken know chicken wings for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> you don't realize there's cauliflower hiding in there. Oh, well, there you go. But it's a great combination. And what a fun way to just spruce up our meat-free Mondays yes, by yes. doing our uh, cauliflower popcorn. Such so what are idea. we going to start with? Okay, so I'm going to make our batter and you're going to do our sauce. Okay. So I've got a mixture of flour and corn flour here and we're going to add a bit of flavor. So I've got some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, a bit of salt and pepper. I've recently discovered the magic of garlic powder and oh, onion powder and it just best. makes the world's <laughs> difference when you cook. It really just adds that depth of flavor and yes. it's delicious. I've add some, added some dried herbs as well. So it's just your basic kind of batter and then you're going to add some water. And you're looking for a sort of a thick pancake batter consistency. Okay. So not too runny but not too thick or your cauliflower is going to break. Okay. And then before we get into the cauliflower, um, do you use this raw or do you cook your cauliflower you a little bit? do pre-cook it. So what we've done with, with this cauliflower is we've boiled it just for about two minutes. You don't want to overboil it because then it's going to be soft and mushy and it's all going to it's break. Going to fall apart. Yeah. So two minutes is fine until it's just tender and then you drain it and you leave it to steam dry. And that's all you need to do. Oh, so I love it's not that. gonna be raw. No. Okay, I love how you were so patient just adding water a <laughs> little bit by little bit. I would have been that Didn't person who would have added far. all the water and then like <laughs> the consistency wouldn't be that pancake batter. Yeah, there we go. So that's looking lovely and smooth. And you can see all those spices and flavorings in there. Yes. Okay, so the cauliflower goes in. I'm just gonna tip it all in. We're gonna mix it around and just make sure it's coated in that batter. There we go. So you want to get all those breadcrumbs to stick nicely. And we were saying earlier, this is actually a lovely way to get your kids to eat cauliflower. I know, what a fun way to get really them cool. to really love their vegetables, yes. play around with the cauliflower. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited to try this. <laughs> Nicole in our kitchen said that this is absolutely delicious. Yes, I'm dying to try it. There we go. So these have been coated in the batter. So should I get started on our yes. tangy mayo? So of course I'm using our classic tangy mayo over here. There yeah. we go. So we're using the number two, I think. Yes. We are using the number two. And what's quite amazing is that the classic mayo is, is available in three levels of tanginess. There's the mild, which is the number one, medium, which is the number two that we're using today, and strong which is the number three and depending on how tangy you like it you can use any of the three for your dip so we're going with number two how much of this yes. would you need uh, about a cup about a cup the trick so I'm gonna guesstimate about a cup yeah a couple there of scoops go. and then we're going to be adding chili powder if you're not a big fan of the heat you can always add herbs or something else oh we like heat should but I add all this chili powder yeah let's go for it if you want it extra hot you could add some hot sauce as well so you Ooh. can really adjust it to your liking and really just play around with it yeah definitely and then we're also going to add a squeeze of lime into that so these are looking great just a squeeze of lime now we do have this recipe available for you if you would love to get your hands to make this delicious cauliflower popcorn that myself and Teresa are making you can get it at expressoshow.com how much lime is just like a little squeeze enough give it a yeah a good squeeze good squeeze okay so these are already done Beautiful oh, that looks and incredible. Look at that. Yeah, I'm so so quick and easy. Oh, this looks incredible. I do need right. to taste one. I know that one's Ooh, fresh yes. and hot, but I'm gonna come over here. Of course, we are using the smaller ones to make it look like popcorn, but let me give <laughs> it a little bit of a dip. Give it a oh, taste. They look so good. Wow. This is unbelievable. Okay. If you want to get your hands on this recipe, expressoshow.com. Teresa, thank you for this delicious Later. cauliflower popcorn. 
And if you've missed any of the steps, you can find it on your screen right now. This is good. <laughs> Made with love by Clover.